Today I'm going to show you how to prepare and glaze seal newly laid Peter Fowl coloured concrete. It's important to stress if you're resealing concrete, this isn't the process for you. And you should contact Peter Fowl for more information. So when it comes to glaze sealing newly laid concrete, you'll need Peter Fowl surface preparation, Peter Fowl neutraliser and cleaner, and Peter Fowl glaze sealer. You also need a hose, two 10 litre watering cans, some polythene, a short nap roller, and a standard soft bristle broom that can resist solvents. The surface preparation solution is corrosive, so limits skin exposure. Wearing a long sleeve top, full trousers, sturdy boots, gloves, safety glasses, and a breathing mask. Now it's time to get started. First up, we need to prepare the concrete for the glaze sealer. The first part of this process is to apply surface preparation solution, an acid that lightly etches the concrete and removes any contamination. This solution is highly concentrated and needs to be diluted down. For most outside jobs, a dilution rate of 20 to 1 parts is best, and we recommend mixing it in a 10 litre watering can. To prevent dangerous splashing, always add the solution to the water, and not the other way around. Also avoid sitting your watering can directly on your concrete to avoid random splashes burning it. Now it's time to mix the neutraliser and cleaner solution, again diluting it one part to 20 parts water. As the name suggests, it neutralises the acid, but it also removes fine particles rinsing with water alone will not remove. With both watering cans at the ready, you now have enough solution to fully prepare 8 to 12 square metres of concrete. But before you start, it's vital your concrete is wet. Failure to do so will result in permanent acid burns. If you're undertaking this process for the first time, we recommend doing a test patch of 2 to 4 square metres, starting in a less visible area and building up your confidence. To start your test patch, disperse the preparation solution. Immediately you should see light bubbles forming on the surface of the concrete. Ensure the solution is spread evenly with your broom, and if you're working on a slope, apply the solution from the bottom and work up, preventing any runoff further etching the concrete below. Also avoid runoff going into your garden. Small amounts won't do any harm, but it's good practice to immediately apply water to the affected area. After two minutes, the reaction is complete and it's time to apply the neutraliser solution. Ensure the neutraliser is visible on the surface of your concrete. Use your broom to disperse it and leave it for a few minutes before hosing off. Having completed your test patch, you can now repeat the entire process in manageable chunks. Taking care to avoid treating overlapping areas and working within the existing cut lines in your concrete. As stated earlier, 10 litres of each solution will allow you to prepare 8 to 12 square metres of concrete. This means if your concrete's larger, you'll need to mix up and apply further batches of both solutions before hosing off. Once your concrete's been fully prepared, it's ready to seal. It's vital, however, that it's completely dry. That's no rain for at least 24 hours. A simple test is to leave a square of polythene on the concrete overnight. If there's any condensation, it needs longer to dry. When it comes to applying the glaze sealer, ensure the weather is not too hot or too cold and avoid applying in hot direct sunlight. We're using a short nap roller to apply the glaze sealer. But you can also use a broom or a sprayer. Apply using random strokes and avoid letting it pull or applying too thickly. Or you run the risk of leaving roller marks. And if you're working on a slope, prevent it from running. Additional coats can be broomed, with Peter Fell recommending a minimum of two coats, although porous or ground concrete may require more. Generally, drying time is two to four hours, but this is weather dependent, and new coat should only be applied when the previous coat is completely dry. After the final coat of glaze seal has been applied, make sure the surface is dry to touch before walking on it. And if your concrete's to be driven on, you need to leave it for a minimum of three days. Now your concrete's ready for use, and with regular treatment with Peterfell Concrete Cleaner and Peterfell Algicide, you can keep it looking as good as new for years to come. Peterfell, specialists in coloured concrete.